and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing a Sephora um, spring VIB sale. So if you guys like to see what I picked up during the sale, just keep on watching. But before you keep on watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when your girl uploads. But if you guys want to see what I picked up during the sale, just keep on watching. So, um, I am a Sephora Rouge member. So, I think that's like the highest of the members. Y'all, I spend a lot of money on makeup. Your girl be shopping on some makeup. But, um, yeah. So, I think Rouge members get 20% off. Then, it's the VIB members that get 15% off. And then, the Beauty Insider gets 10% off. Um, so... I had picked all of these products up last Friday because that was the first day that you could shop if you was a Rouge member. So these are all the products that I picked up. So starting off, y'all, I got to show y'all this because this, this right here got me elfed up. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really mad, y'all. I'm mad about this. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this product. But this is the Marc Jacobs um, Nourishing primer dewy highlighter coconut complexion so it's uh their coconut primer and then it's two dewy highlighters y'all this thing right here really got me teeth the elf off for when this ain't even worth the price i see no i can't even say that because your girl should have i don't i don't read i be looking like oh that's cute i want it i need to read y'all because it's like um it said this. It said 5 ml slash 0.72 ounces. So that's how much product y'all get in this. Look at this shit. Like, the picture make it look so much bigger than what the, the heck it really is. Y'all. I died when I opened this. I, I kid y'all not. I died opening this. Look how little this shit, this shit is. Y'all look. Look at this. <laughs> I need to start reading. This shit is so fucking tiny. I don't know. I, I'm really debating if I should keep this. But like I have to ship it back because the stores ain't fucking open. So I don't even know. So I ain't even used this shit yet. Because I, I don't know if I should keep this. I don't feel like... Because when it's price pump on this screen, y'all going to be like, bitch. Because this ain't even worth it. I don't feel like it is. I don't know. I mean, you get three highlighters in the primer. It might be worth it. But, like, they could have gave me at least... At least a little bit more, like... What you can travel with. I'm trying to think travel size. is like 3.5 ml. I think that's what you can get on the plane with. Or 3. I don't know yet. I'm going to have that pop up too. They could at least gave me a, at least a travel size. Not a fucking. This a travel mini size. Oh y'all. This had me up up. So I'm going to just set this back right now. <laughs> My vanity. Hydrate. Smooth and smoothie. This right here. So I picked this up. Um, it came with the Ultra Mist and it also came with the Banana Moisturizer along with the Sleeping Mask. I've been wanting to try the spray. I really like um sprays. And I seen people saying good things about this spray. So I was like, why not just pick up the spray if I can get to try these two things out? But um, yeah. So I'm really excited to try this. I haven't tried this yet. So we're gonna set that there. The next thing I had picked up during the sale was this Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss set. So these are the glosses. Um yes. Yeah, I, I'm a gloss person. And then I seen the swatches and I thought they was really pretty. So I was like, let me try that. So yeah. They this one really pretty. I don't know if y'all can see it. this one. That one's really cute. And then he got like two nudes and like two glitters. And I was like, okay, I need some more nude glosses. So I picked this up during the sale. I don't know why I keep saying it. Y'all know I picked it up during the sale because we're showing the teeth. But, oh, 
yeah, the next thing, y'all, this has been on my list for a while of like, I really wanted to try this. It's the Milk um, Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've really heard really great reviews about this primer. And I don't know, I, I, every time I go in the store, I go towards this and I'll be like, I'm going to get this. But then I'll actually get it. Sometimes, y'all, like, makeup is expensive, y'all. Like, this shit ain't cheap. So, I don't know. That ain't cheap. Makeup ain't cheap. So, move on to the next thing. I got this Huda Beauty eyeliner. Okay, I cheated a little bit because I used this today in my makeup tutorial. Because I've been needing a, it ain't even like a liquid. I used the liquid eyeliner today. But I really like how it applied my liner though, y'all. It's really cute. But, um... I really picked this up for the it's two it's two sided so it's like a liquid liner and then it got like the the part where you put in your waterline I don't know what it's called so it's like the pencil liner that's what they said so it got a little tilt I needed this for like my waterline and stuff like that y'all that's why I really picked this up but I also wanted to try on a new liquid eyeliner because i be using like a pen to do it and i really wanted to try this out but so far i, I really like this it did it did good and it wasn't that hard and it's and it's black yeah so yeah the next thing i picked up was i've heard great things about these two y'all is the vanish airbrush concealer the hourglass concealer and I picked mine up in the shade Beach. So, a lot of people say this is a real full coverage concealer. So, this is what it looked like. Um, I'm going to show y'all. So, I picked this up to do some highlighting underneath my eyes. I think that's real pretty. I think I picked up a good shade to highlight underneath my eyes. So yeah, try this out. Um, the next thing I picked up was the Fenty Beauty um bronzer. I've been hearing good things about this as well, y'all. So I had picked mine up in the shade Caramel Cutie, and I tried this today, y'all. I I like this. It's like you only need a little, but it is it's cute. So this is what the shade look like. And I applied this on top of my cream bronzer. But my cream bronzer I used was my um was my Kylie um concealer. But yeah, y'all, I I like this. This this is cute. And it it looked dark, but then it's not that dark. If that makes sense. But yeah, I like this. I need to use it some more, but I like it today. And the next thing I picked up was the Huda Beauty Tan Tour Contour. Yeah, I've been eyeing this too, y'all. I really been wanting to like try this out, and I heard great things about this as well. And I got mine in the shade medium. So, and I love, I love Huda Beauty products, like her face products, because I have her foundation. In. But I really love her setting powder. But this is what it looks like. And it come with like this little. Thing on the inside. It's tan and tone. But yeah. Her product. She be having some good products. Like her. Like if I recommend anything for y'all to pick up during this sale. It's, it's her um, setting powder. Like that shit had your under eyes. So fucking flawless. I used it today. But that's my. Like. That and Derma Blend, cause they they do the same thing. But them, that's a good set of powder, y'all. But um, the last thing I picked up was this Pat McGrath um skin fetish foundation. Um, I got this on today too, y'all. And I don't know how I feel about it because it's a little too dark for me, and it's a little like red, like on the. On the website, I think it does say pink undertones in the shade. I got the shade 19. Because the shade, you know, like when you go on Sephora and you be trying to shade match you 
to like products and it be trying to shade match you based off of foundations that you own. So the shades that it kept trying to match me to, I felt like was too light for me. And then when I like was on YouTube looking up like the foundation and other YouTubers like wearing it, like darker skin YouTubers wearing it to see if I if I could match my own self. And the two people that I watched that I feel like similar to me in skin tone, they had that shade. And I was like, well, why is this matching me to shade 15? So, yeah. And then I seen some, like, a girl used the shade 15. And I was like, no, that's too light. That ain't gonna work for me. But it is a little too dark for me. Like, um... But I feel like I made it work with my highlighter and contour. So yeah, if you have a darker foundation, you can make it work with like a little bronze and highlighting to even it out. But yeah, um, what I can say about the foundation, just for having it on to like wearing it, it don't feel like you got nothing on your face. And when I mean nothing, it feels like nothing on, like on your face at all. Like you know how like you can, some foundations like you can feel any like, some foundations like you can't feel but you still can feel but this this feel like nothing's on my face at all like it don't feel tight or nothing like that so i don't know but if y'all want me to do a wear test on this foundation i will do that we'll see but on um, you get 1.18 fluid ounces in the foundation okay um so that is all of what i picked up during the spring VIB sale so if y'all enjoyed this video be sure to give me a thumbs up if y'all want to see more videos like this be sure to give me a thumbs up but that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in my next video bye